Hey guys, Dr. Suits Gaming here. Gonna show you how to mod War Thunder today. First, I wanna give a big shout out to my guys over at Cup Clan Gaming. Come on, join us. Follow the link to the Discord in my channel. We like to play War Thunder, Halo, Master Chief Collection, and a bunch of other games over there. So, today I'm gonna be showing you how to change your hangar, how to add new sounds, and how to change your gunner sight. With what I'm gonna show you today, you'll be able to turn this into this. And you'll be able to turn this into this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to live.worthunder.com or follow the links for the three that I used. They are going to be in the description. Uh, you can get camouflages, which are only visible to yourself. They're not visible to enemies or even allies. Unfortunately, some of these do look pretty cool. Gunner sights, which is what I have downloaded. Uh, missions, which does include... Uh, oh no, sorry, locations, which do include hangars. Uh, different models which you can be used in custom games and then sounds so once you have one clicked on it'll pop up like this and you just go ahead and hit the download you can read the description and see what it does or see how to install it they always have directions or they'll have a uh, video with directions from there once it's downloaded you're going to want to install it into the correct folder the easiest way to do this is through steam you're just going to right click your War Thunder properties, install the files, and browse. Once that pops up, you'll have this here. You'll also then have your downloads listed here. Um, you'll transfer them over the exactly the way it says. So the user sites one, you'll want to put it in the sites user sites folder. Uh, I did. Um, only install one it's the user site. The user sites I downloaded comes with four different ones. It comes with a crosshair fill, crosshair, no crosshair, and poor eyesight. I preferred the no crosshair one. You may have to mess around with them. You can only install one of these at a time. If you install all of them, it will just only pick from the top file. Um, so from here, you're just going to create a user sites folder, and then you can throw that in there. And that's all you got to do quick and easy for the user sites and then it'll be able to load in. Once you have the user sites loaded in, you will need to go into options, common battle settings, and use alternative site grid and choose the one you want. They're going to be separated by ammo type, by uh, AB for arcade, RB for realistic, and sim for simulation. And you'll just pick the one you want for the type of ammo you're using and that's that. However, you do have to set it for each individual tank. Now this does make it quite time consuming, but you know, in my mind it's worth it. It's up to you. Uh, I went through the other day and put it on all the tanks that I use on all of the lineups. It didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to. The tricky thing is just making sure that you put it with the right ammo. So for some of these, I had to right click test drive and see what ammo I had loaded and then went into options, common battle settings, and made sure to pick the right ammo. Because ammos have different levels of drop off, all of the gunner sites are gonna be slightly different. For the other ones, for the hangar, it has the directions on there, but it does specifically say that you do need to take, okay, there's a readme there. You need to take one item from the shooting range here, which I have hangar default. Let's see, I think that's, I can hit the late World War II one. That just shows what vehicles are in the background. And then you need to pick either a premium tank on trailer or without premium. I did with premium tank because it you know, adds a little bit more ambiance to the hangar, I think. Plus then I can see which random different premiums I might want to get during one of the new sales. And that's all you have. that's what you have to do there. And then you have to go into the config file here and you have to add this line, this text line. It is in the readme file here. You just need to add this file, add this line, save it, close it, 
that's all you need to do for the sound for the hanger. For sounds, you need to go into your uh, sound folder, create a mod folder, and then add all of these in to it. You then need to go back to your config file, scroll down to sound, and do enable mod B yes. Then save it again, and that's it. Then you have all three mods, and you're good to go. There's a couple out to the right side. To the east. Yeah, there's a... And a tiger on my face. I don't think it's actually a tiger. Easy for it. Dude! This M4 is pushing me out. Are you okay? Yeah, it's a light guy. He's just fast, he outrun my first shot. Got him. There's a uh, heavy over there as well. Yep, I see him. Oh shit. Come on, load, 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 load. Oh, He's right around this corner. Oh! What the fuck just shot me? Thank you.